What it do, E World? Crisscross and wires. Back with another video. And uh, even more reason for why I think the Fly E Bike RZ is definitely going to be the new platform for uh, guys to consider in building high power PEVs. And uh, another great reason as to why, because people assume that because they are inexpensive, that they may have uh, cheap frames and parts to them. Not at all. That's not the case. Uh, I've definitely found out in my research that the Fly E-Bike RZ uses the exact same frame as the Kawasaki Ninja 300. It's the exact same frame. Matter of fact, if you if you look at that uh, thumbnail right there, that is the uh, exact same uh, fairing kit right there that I bought for my RZ. Now, even the frames, I've seen uh, videos and uh, watched, you know, builds on the Ninja, on the Kawasaki Ninja, looking at all the parts of it. The frame itself is the exact same frame. Even looking at the bike, I mean, it, the, even the bike itself looks exactly the same if you look at it. It even got the same size tires and everything. It's the exact same bike in electric form. The only thing is, uh, the drivetrain that it's sold on is not the most powerful. However, for which you pay, uh, even stock. Uh, it's a pretty good deal. Those bikes come with a 72 volt system. Uh, you know, you have the option that, well, right now you have to buy the lead acid version if you're buying it out in New York or New Jersey because they can't sell them with the uh, lithium packs at the moment. But uh, yeah, with the uh, lead acid packs they're not going to go that fast stock they're going to do about 35 40 miles an hour if you get the uh 72 volt lithium pack they'll do 50 maybe 55 miles an hour but around 50 ish okay and that's just because they have a small 80 amp uh lingo lingbo controller on them all you got to do is upgrade that controller and uh, that bike will definitely be more usable in traffic I mean uh, right now I I even until I built my pack I got a Sabaton unlocked on that thing now doing about 250 amps uh, about 550 ish phase amps and the bike is doing about 65 miles an hour it's got a nice acceleration to it now, you, you guys know I said I'm going to go all out on this bike. I'm going to build a big 96-volt uh, pack, 100-amp hour, and put some watts on it. But uh, just for anybody that needs to know, yeah, man, there are no worries about, uh, you know, like those cheap Chinese uh, bomber e-bikes, the cheap ones with the bad wells and all that. No, they are using... The same frame that's on a Kawasaki 300. And just like I said, it's, it's basically the same bike. You know, the electronic version. No doubt in my mind, the frame is exactly the same. You can look at that right there. And uh, I'll take you out and, and show you. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, I was thinking about... Uh, letting the beast go because uh, I figured I didn't need two road bikes then I started watching videos of Baltimore bike life and man I knew that uh, Baltimore bike life has always had a huge dirt bike community that's always been the case forever I mean 10 15 years ago before I even thought about 
thinking about e-bikes, they had a dirt bike community. But now I've been seeing a lot of videos of uh, guys that are riding PEVs in Baltimore Electric, Surrons and all that, and they riding with the dirt bike guys. So now, what I'm going to do, since I don't really get to enjoy riding down here where I'm at now, you know, in group rides and stuff, ain't too much of that going on down here. But I'm going to take the beast to Baltimore, leave it at my mom's house, and, uh, you know, every Sunday they out riding. So, you know, I was thinking about letting the beast go, but nah, not going to do it. We're going to take it to Baltimore and uh, have a ball up there. That's exactly where the beast needs to be, because ain't nothing legal happening in Baltimore <laughs> as far as on the bike tip. So uh, the beast will be right at home. Make no mistake about it. But yeah, once again, man, anybody that's thinking about, uh, you know, I've been I've been trying to uh, talk people. As a matter of fact, there's a uh, thumbnail of it right there. You can see the frame of the Kawasaki Ninja 300. Uh, you can even pull that frame up online. You can just buy the frame. But uh, that is the exact same bike. Uh, take you out here real quick. Oh man, I don't know if I got my little raggy, little raggy shop out here. Uh, let's see, my keys out here. Uh, I guess I don't need them, but uh, yeah, had this thing out here charging, it's done, but uh, yeah, this frame right here. Kawasaki Ninja Frame. Now, the this, this swing arm is obviously different. They've made the swing arm for those electric motors with the, uh, you know, the square uh, dropouts. Uh, but, if anything, you could always upgrade and put the actual Kawasaki uh, swing arm on here and just have the uh had the swing arm modded for the dropouts you know but honestly there's nothing wrong with this swing arm you know it's solid uh depending on how much power you're going to run i mean you may want to extend it if you're going to get that funky with it uh, who knows? I have to see how it responds when we get up around 60k. So uh, you know, it might it might start feeling like it's going to lift. If so, I'll extend that swing arm out. We'll just have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, I'm really loving this platform. And like I said, the great part about it is this. Uh, area where you can put a battery now another thing that I've determined normally on an e-bike you need cells in your pack that have uh, you know maximum capacity and maximum discharge because your battery compartment is limited so you want the most bang for your buck and as far as the cells you're using now, I have made a few calculations. You can easily fit 600 cells in this battery compartment and still have room to spare. I'm pretty sure I could probably push it to around 800 cells. But with 600 cells, you could build a really nice size pack, you know, either 30S, 20p if you want to go that high or maybe 26 s uh 23 p something like that and uh have a huge pack with a lot of amp hour and a lot of range but what i was going to say the most important part is you don't even have to use mala cells and reason why is because you can build a pack so large that 
instead of having to have cells that output 45 amps each at 25 and 20 P you could even have 10 15 amp cells you know you figure 20 20 P even if the cells are 15 amps you know you're going to have a, a nice bit of uh, output discharge you know you don't need uh, 25 P a mile of cells but it depends on how much power you're running but uh, yeah all day long even with 10 amp let's just say you got the cheapest 10 amp cells at 20 P that's 200 amps you know if you wanted to keep your power moderate and just have a lot of amp hour you know 125 amp hour pack 200 300 amps uh running that power level that would give you all types of range so yeah even more reason why this platform is very usable as far as uh building a nice uh road worthy pev that you can put tags on and ensure uh i was checking out you know they even have the uh vin number and everything they still have the uh curb weight as the actual uh ninja they got like 500 some pounds on there you know that bike ain't 500 some pounds uh it might be up there when you make a super large pack on it but right now it don't weigh that much maybe about 250 somewhere in there we gonna stuff it with some cells so we might get up close around 400 but uh yeah anyway that's it uh yeah i'm telling you you guys really need to think about that if you're planning to just do a road bike you know of course you ain't gonna do no off-roading on that thing but if you're just gonna ride in the street or you need a commuter i highly recommend the rz and if anybody wants to get one and have it modified holler at me i got you peace